Pets Games for Days. I have a fan going in the background because it's hot, hot, hot in this room. So I hope you don't mind. But today, by the title, because you clicked on it, I'll be showing you where, to, how, and where to get the Furious Power Fist. Now, forewarning, I would ask you please be at least level 10 and have decently good weapons because there is going to be a fight against one of the things you don't want to fight right outside the vault. And if you've played Fallout 4 for any amount of time, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, uh, we're going to change our dog meat later on to a Prince skin. But there's going to be four videos come out today. The shout out video has already come out. This video, and then a tour of a thing in my settlement. And if that video gets enough likes, I'll send out a video about how I built it. So, um, to get there, you want to go to Swan's Pond. And if you don't know where that is, we're just going to head from Diamond City and go this way. I've already had to go through there at least once, so some of the enemies should be away. But follow, like, get on your game and watch this on your phone and follow my directions and the way I'm going pretty accurately because this is going to be pretty dense yes okay keep going straight this should be Trinity Plaza right here oh there were um some children of Adam here before this oh oh, oh, oh. they're named if you go and play the beginning of the game, you'll notice that your neighbors are standing outside the gate to the vault, and they're not being let in. Their names are Ms. Mr. Sumner, Mrs. Parker, Mr. and Mrs. Donahue, Mr. and Mrs. Rosa. So your neighbors did technically survive the vault. The bomb's going off. Just not in the way you'd want them to. Okay. That's that. Okay, so that was Trinity Plaza, right? Yeah. So keep going straight here. And then at this little area, turn onto this street and go pl past Trinity Tower. Oh, I didn't go past Trinity Tower the first time, apparently. So we're about 80 paces from here. Keep going straight. I'm a Papa Jet. That way it seems like a little quicker. And it actually is quicker if you compare it to real time. So, uh,. Right here, cut down this alleyway and go straight through it. Then you'll be on a road again, one street. This is where you'll get the Furious Power Fist. If you've never been here before, you're in for a surprise when you get here. The little lump, shoot it once. And then a super mutant behemoth pops up. Now, if you have a uh, experimental MRV, MIRV, whatever, or a fat man, or a nuke nuke launcher, or a cannonball launcher. I recommend you use that, it's the quickest. But if you don't, then just go through the battle ferociously. Now, you'll get some apparel, some junk, some ammo, but most importantly, you'll get the Furious Power Fist, which does increased damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. And this mod is puncturing. You can change it, if you don't like the rebar and concrete, you can change it to normal or to a heated coil, which does heat damage, if you were not aware of that. So if you've never seen how one of these work, which most of us have, because this game's been out for a while, you put it on, and then the character brings up his fist like he's going to punch someone, because it's called a power fist. So you just bam, and then it's easy. So, uh... If they're... Okay, let's test it on this boy. Womp. Dead. Instantly. Not even worried about it. Not even worried about it, man. Alright then. So that was the guide to getting the Furious Power Fist. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you will pretty, pretty please check outy what I think inky of Mar McQueen's channel up in the end screen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And please leave a like and subscribe and...